Um, how did you come to serve in Korea? I was the Scottish in the band, and the ones that learned how to play bagpipes, and it tried transferring it over to uh, Black Watch, and they told me I was going to the Black Watch, and when I woke up in the morning, I seen medical school. Okay. Where? How old were you when you enlisted? Sixteen. And what, how did your family react? My dad, he was okay, but my mother, she was scared to death. What made you be involved in the medical, uh, like picking up the wounded? How did you get that assignment? Were you, is that, did you volunteer all, for that? All band members automatically go into the medical corps. And what kind of equipment did you use to uh, attend to the wounded when you, when you went to go pick up the wounded? Band-aids, field dressings, morphine. When you arrived in Korea, where were you assigned? Up in the, up in the front lines with the 22nd Regiment. Did you think that the war could be won? It, it, well, it was going to take time. Any kind of specific memory that stands out to you? The, the hill next to where we were at was quite a ways away. But when the Chinese attacked them, they were all asleep and they were all, all killed. We looked at them through binoculars. And we see the Chinese taking all the uniforms and slitting their throats, and it was hectic. Must have been scary. Well, I, as soon as I got up in the front, it, 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 all the noise and that it scared the dickens out of me. Did you see any POWs, Korean yeah. POWs? Yeah. Okay, and did you engage with them at all? Well, a few uh, we brought into our unit for medical attention. What was the worst part of your experience? Picking up the word dead. Is this what you expected war to be like? I didn't know what they expected. Well, did you get to know any people that lived there? A couple of them. And what did you think of, what was your impression of them? Okay, they were, they were nice. What do you remember of your comrades and officers? They were, they were all nice. Okay. Did you make a lot of friends that yeah. you kept in touch with? Can you tell us a bit about uh, the conflict itself? What was the reaction at home to the Canadians going over? They, they, they weren't pleased at all. And why, why do you think that was? Can you describe, like, the politics a little bit behind it? Well, they said it was a police action. It wasn't a war, it was a police action. And when, when you got there, it was a, all the other different story. And what did you do after the war, when you came home? I, I served in the Essex Scottish Medical Room. Do you feel that? Uh, your time in the military gave you any life skills that you used? Oh yeah, I could bet. And was it difficult to return home to normal life? At first it was, yeah. Okay. And what did you miss the most about home while you were away? My girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and what was the food like? It was a keg rations. Powdered eggs and powdered this and powdered that. Okay. How did you stay in touch with your family while you were there? Yeah, I used to read them all the time. Says, how did you fall asleep with such loud noises? <laughs> sleep was, was very, very seldom you had sleep. This is Korean medal, medal, Canadian volunteer medal, and United Nations medal. And this is a commemorative medal in 1953, 50 years that the war is over. And this is 10 years in the service. 
if you look back at your time in the military, would you have done it again? Oh yeah, if 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 the country was at, at stake, I would. If you could speak to young people about duty and patriotism, what would you say? I tell them, if they, they could avoid it, don't go over there. Okay. Try to keep peace amongst everybody. This is a war, war it's, it's a hectic thing. A lot of, a lot of young people to give up their lives for nothing.